Hey everybody, Ashton Edwards Incense with the Fragrance Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new release from the House of Parfums Vintage. You know what it is, Pineapple Vintage Intense. And I'm also going to show you a little bit of footage of me playing my Dance Dance Revolution machine. Because I told Manny from Cascade Scents that I would include that, so I am for fun. Even though it has nothing to do with fragrance. I'm too old for this stuff now. When I was younger, I could kill this, but... Still got it. Let's go ahead and check out this presentation. The pineapples have kind of a cool reflective look. You can see that here. You have the name of the fragrance here on the front, concentration at the top, size at the bottom, pineapple vintage logo on the top here. You have a caution and storage information on the side, ingredients on this side. On the back, you have this cool Photoshop picture. This is on the other uh, releases as well, where you have this fellow spraying some pineapple vintage and all the ladies over here swooning. Fairly accurate. On the bottom, you have ingredients again. It looks like a batch code would go here, but there is no batch code. Here's the bottle. It's the same as the other two releases. It just says pineapple vintage. It looks a little bit weathered, so it does have a cool look. Little wooden cap. You can pick it up from the cap if you want. The atomizer is actually really good. See that? Very good. And then on the bottom, that's where you can tell what release it is. The sticker says pineapple vintage intense. So it's the same as the original two where you had to flip it up and look at the bottom to tell which one you're dealing with. That's the presentation for Pineapple Vintage Intense. And just to be completely forthcoming with you guys, this was sent to me for free from Parfums Vintage, but like usual, it will not affect my review. So I'm going to jump into how this opens and dries down and everything in just a second. But I'm going to go over first with you the things that changed from the classic release to this release according to the perfumer. I've been going back and forth with him a little bit through email and he's given me some insight into how they went about formulating this. So the first thing that he told me was that the molecules that they used originally for the woody notes in Pineapple Vintage Classic were a lower quality than what they have access to now. So they switched to a higher quality molecule that basically gives off the same amount of performance as far as the woody notes go but it takes up less volume in the fragrance itself. So what this has allowed them to do is to have more high impact molecules in the fragrance. So basically more bergamot and things like that. They've also said that they've increased the quality of the bergamot, the patchouli, and the ambergris notes that they put in here. So basically uh, you should be getting a little bit more of those notes. They should come across a little more natural and they should last a little longer. One other thing that they said they did is that they upped the ISOE Super in here. So the whole thought process behind that was that they would increase the ISOE Super in the intense release, which would increase projection and increase longevity. So basically the woody notes have a different molecule, which takes up less volume, which allows them to put more uh, ingredients into the fragrance itself and they've upped the ISOE Super. So now the fragrance itself. The top opens up really fresh, really fruity. It's a natural bergamot. There's a little bit of apple. That bergamot is what's going to give you kind of a pineapple feel. Uh, for me, it is a little more bergamotty than it is pineapple-y, but regardless, it's a really, really nice open. Super fresh, super fruity. It smells great. As it dries down, you get a light patchouli, a little bit of vanilla, a tiny bit, a clean ambergris, and a light touch of birch. It's not really smoky. This is definitely leaning more fruity than anything else, but it smells good the whole way through. Between Pineapple Vintage Classic, which is just Pineapple Vintage, or Pineapple Vintage Noir, this is much, much, much more similar to Pineapple Vintage Classic. And yeah, this is more similar to those more modern releases of Aventus, the fruity batches that have become just all over the place. But honestly, at this point, I'm starting to think of Pineapple Vintage as just its own thing, like something that's maybe inspired by Aventus, 
but isn't going for a straight up clone at this point. That really fresh, bright, fruity opening burns off my skin pretty quickly. I'm talking 15 minutes in, and a lot of that juiciness has faded away. You can still pick up the nuances of the fruit, so it's not like it just vanishes, but a lot of that pop that you get at the beginning fades away in the first 15 minutes. After that fruit kind of burns away, you still pick up the nuances, but at that point it becomes more of a light birch, clean ambergris with nuances of patchouli and vanilla in the background. It's still really nice, honestly. Of the three pineapple vintage releases, this one is going to be my favorite at this point. If you're looking for compliments, this has got the compliment factor, at least for me. I told you guys before when I reviewed Pineapple Vintage Classic that that one pulled me tons of compliments when I was testing it, and this has done the same thing. My wife loves this fragrance. It's legit like a top three fragrance for her. I'm not even lying. She will come down and pick this out of my collection. She'll go through my bottles, pick this out, and spray it on herself just so she can smell it. And she hasn't done that once or twice or three times. She's done it like five times since I got this bottle in, so over the course of a week and a half. Now when I spray this on, I have to make sure not to smell it closely because if I spray this on and then I go in and you know try to take a smell, I will go anosmic to it really quickly. The same thing happened with the earlier pineapple vintages. I don't know what it is. It just makes me go anosmic. It's still there. I just can't smell it. Uh, one thing that I have realized is if I spray it on and just make a conscious decision not to smell where I sprayed, then I can still pick up wafts throughout the day. And when my wife sprays this on herself, which I just said she's done multiple times, I can pick it up projecting from a good distance. So it does perform, it does last, but if you're like me, you may go anosmic to it and think, oh my God, it's already gone away. That's not the case. It's still projecting, it's still performing. You just can't smell it yourself. Now projection wise, I've tested this on myself and also based off of my wife wearing it, it's actually really good. It projects outside of an arm's length for the first hour to hour and a half. And then after that, it starts to settle in a little bit closer to the skin. But for me, projects like a beast off my wife, projects like a beast. Longevity for me, seven to eight hours consistently. And if it's a good day, I get more than eight hours. So performance on this one is very good. One thing I will say is that if you have Pineapple Vintage Classic already, you may want to go ahead and sample this one first because a lot of you out there may think that it's a redundant purchase if you already have Classic because they are very similar. They basically took Classic, tweaked it a little bit, and now it's intense. So just be aware of that. If you already have Classic, unless you're a huge Pineapple Vintage fan, you may want to sample this one first. And in my back and forth with the perfumer, he actually gave me a code, uh, which is GentSense, so just the channel name. You'll get $5 off a purchase of their trio of samples. So I believe it's normally $12.99 on their website. You get one sample of each fragrance, the Pineapple Vintage Classic, Noir, and Intense. If you use the code GentSense, you will get $5 off to make it more affordable for you. Uh, he did tell me in the email that it's only good for one sample set, so you can't add like 15 sample sets. Um, so one sample set, $5 off, code GentSense if you want to use it. And Parfums Vintage was nice enough to send some samples of Pineapple Vintage Intense. I decided to go ahead and just give them away. So if you're interested in winning these, go ahead and join my Facebook group. There's a link in the description and comment that you want to be entered to win. I'll go ahead and do a video a few days from now uh, do a random comment picker and whoever wins will get sent these samples. Now when is this best to wear? In my opinion, spring and summer, it's a daytime or nighttime fragrance. Leans a little more casual for me, but if you wanted to wear this business casual or even formally, I wouldn't have an issue with that because it's a really people-pleasing fragrance and it's not one that's going to come out smelling, you know, bubble gummy or like a club fragrance, so you could make it work. Age range wise, I think it's really versatile. Um, if you're old enough to wear a fragrance, I think you can pull it off. And um, I don't really think that there's a cutoff in terms of age because it's just a very versatile fragrance. So uh, anyone really could pull this off. If you compare this to other inspired by Aventus fragrances, it's higher quality than all of them. Now, it's more expensive than them, so you would expect it to be higher quality, and it is. Rating wise, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. 
super, super solid release. I really, really do like it. My wife gives it a 10 out of 10. So it's a great release, hands down. All right, guys, that's my review of Pineapple Vintage Intense. If you have smelled this one, let me know in the comments. If you're interested in it, make sure to pick up a sample from their site. As always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.